Hi, I'm Haley. I'm 22 years old and I've had acne for most of my life. I've been on Accutane twice in the past. Uh, clearly did not work. This is what I'm working with right now. This right here is a hydrocolloid patch. Hydrocolloid patch. Yeah. Skin's not doing good right now. It's not. Um, I want to start doing these weekly slash bi-weekly check-in videos just for mostly myself. <laughs> just so I can document like what I'm doing that's working and not working but also if anybody watching this can benefit in any way from what I'm saying I don't know what I'm doing with my hands this is fucking stupid um <laughs> I would love if somebody could benefit from my experience because I've tried a lot of, a lot of things I've done a lot of things um, in efforts to clear my acne, and I hope to talk about some of those in future videos. But in this video, I just want to kind of go over what I'm doing right now and where I'm at this year with my skin. Pretty much just what I've been doing this year, and then what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to do another check-in in about a week. Um, tomorrow's Mon- or tomorrow's- yeah, tomorrow's Monday. So, I'll do another check-in on a week from now on next Sunday. But, I've been on Tretinoin for nine months. This is gel Tretinoin at 0 0.05. But I started out this year on- 0 0.025 cream tretinoin which worked really really well for me and then it stopped working so it worked for about two to three months it stopped working in june so my dermatologist bumped me up to uh the 0 0.05 cream tretinoin and that didn't do anything at all it just my skin continued to get worse and so i stopped the tretinoin altogether for about two weeks and then i thought maybe it was the cream that was breaking me out even though i was still kind of confused by that because it had worked so well for me at the beginning of the year oh and also she put me on axone at the beginning of the year And that had also worked really, really well for me. And I'm still using that. Um, but, yeah. So I switched to gel. The gel is so much more expensive. But I didn't care. I paid for it. It was even, like, super hard to get. To even get my dermatologist to, to prescribe. Um, <clears throat> so finally got the gel it was expensive i started it in july it is now almost october and so if i were to have if I, this is purging it's it's too late for it to be still purging like i've it's been over two months since i started on the gel and I was not even starting the tretinoin for the first time. I had been, my skin was acclimated since uh, February of this year to tretinoin. So I should not have, I should not be still breaking out from this point blank. Um, so my plan is to eventually wean myself off over the period, over a period of two to three months. I'm going to decrease my usage of the tretinoin. Um, and the reason I'm not stopping it cold turkey, like all together sudden stop, is because this is the same thing that happened to my skin when I did when I was on Differin last year. The end of last year, um, right around this time actually, I started to, I started Differin. Um, it worked really well for four months and then it stopped working and then after I stopped it 
very suddenly. I didn't wean off of it or anything like that. Um, and by the way, I use this every other night because I use the Axone on the nights that I don't use this. So I'm going to be weaning off of it. But um, after I stopped Differin Gel, <sighs> um, my skin broke out. Probably the worst it's ever been in my entire life. It was cysts. It was very painful on my cheeks. Um, yeah, it was like probably the most painful breakouts I've ever experienced. Like just pulsating. Yeah, it was... If any of you have experienced breakouts like this, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. It is hell. <laughs> um, so... Um, oh, if you guys don't know what different gel is, it is a form of topical vitamin A, which is same thing as this. It's just a weaker strength, basically. It's a synthetic strength from what I have gathered. A lot of people will start Retin-A before they go on a prescription, um, retin-a product or i'm sorry i think i said that wrong a lot of people will start differing before they go on the prescription retin-a to kind of acclimate their skin um because you can get it in drugstores over the counter um and i don't know what my mouth just did <laughs> um but yeah so This is what I'm doing. I've decided this week. Of course, I get a call. <sighs> I've decided this week that I'm stopping Trinoin and I'm also doing a few more things. Anyways, what else I'm doing is switching my face wash. From Vanny Cream, somebody told me to just try this on uh, a subreddit. I love me some Reddit. So, I decided to switch it out for the CeraVe, the, this new one that they have, it's their Benzoyl Peroxide face wash. It's kind of like um, Panoxyl, but maybe better I don't know I've tried both and I like both so but I knew that this had worked for me at the beginning of the year because I was using this a lot at the beginning of the year because my dermatologist told me to use this at night um but then I thought that because I was breaking out so much that I my skin was just overly irritated or dry or something like that so I switched back to the fanny cream um which i've been using this for literally the past two years and it hasn't really given me any problems but sometimes skincare just stops working that happens a lot for me it seems like it's very exhausting every time i think i find something that works um it stops working suddenly and i have to try to find something else so, um, I've been using this for, like, the past four or five days. It's almost out, though, and I couldn't find another one at the store, so I did pick up some Panoxyl, and it's basically the same thing. They're both 4% benzoyl peroxide, and I have used this in the past, so... I know that it's like an okay and it's cheaper anyways so if I do use this and it ends up working out then I'll just repurchase this one because this one's a little bit more expensive so I do have this this one probably has like one or two more uses in it and then I'm gonna switch over to this um but other than that my routine has stayed exactly the same 
Um, I use the Vanny Cream Moisturizer in the tub. This stuff is really good. Um, it's just a basic bare bones moisturizer. No really bells and whistles. I know a lot of the moisturizers, the popular ones, have niacinamide in them. This one does not. I don't think my face really takes well to niacinamide. Um, every time I've tried to use it, it makes my face really red. And yeah, I've also tried to use the niacinamide serum from The Ordinary, which everybody raves about. And uh, I th I'm pretty sure I broke out from it. It's hard to tell when you just have regular breakouts all the time like what your skin's really breaking out from but I think it's safe to say that when you start a new product and you have significantly more pimples than before you started using it then you probably are breaking out from it and that's what happened with the niacinamide so I try to avoid it for the most part um but if it's like low on the ingredient list of something I it doesn't really matter to me then and then of course my axone that I use every other night and I put this on top of my moisturizer just because I find that it's easier to apply that way and like target it on the areas that I would really need it because if you put it on before the moisturizer and then you put your moisturizer on like your moisturizer goes everywhere i put it on my neck on my eyes and like i don't really want this stuff in my eyes so it's easier to control where it goes if you just put it on on top and i find that it really does work the same that way anyways and i was also putting this over top of my moisturizer my tretinoin um and because i'm gonna be weaning off of it i'm still gonna be using it periodically and putting it on top um and then I use just a pea sized amount of this. That's why, like, this whole tube barely even has a dent in it. And I've been using it for over two months. Because you just don't need that much of it at all. You need the tini teeniest, tiniest amount. And it really lasts forever. <laughs> That's why I was so excited about this. Because I was like, you know, if I, if I use the exact amount I'm supposed to... This could last me like two years, but <clears throat> I don't know. It just sucks because this was so fucking expensive and now I can't use it anymore. But I still do use it on my back. I have the <clears throat> 0.05 cream left that I've been using on my back. But even then, it's like, and I think I'm going to start sweet i'm gonna use this stuff on my back instead because it's just the gel is just better i think i don't know maybe it's not i'm still breaking out anyway so it's like is it really even that much better so that's what i'm kind of just doing for this week i'm seeing if changing the moisture or changing the cleanser really helps my skin um oh and I touched on this a little bit in the beginning but I also do use these hydrocolloid patches on my skin if I pick too much or it's just or if I don't want to pick I'll slap one on and that'll kind of like remind me to not pick at it and yeah they're just good to have um and they're really cheap on amazon if you buy them in bulk and then just cut them yourself with some scissors that's what i do so yeah that's a, this is another thing that i've discovered this year that's changed i haven't really in my 10 years that i've had acne i haven't really ever used hydrocolloid patches and I didn't realize how helpful they can be so I'm really helpful or I'm really thankful that I found discovered those 
um and some other things that i'm gonna be doing this week this is my last cup of coffee that i will be having for probably the next two weeks or so two weeks to a month um because of the other changes that i'm making it's hard to like really isolate a variable such as coffee to see if it's really breaking me out but um yeah i'm gonna be switching back to green tea which reminds me i need to add that to my gro grocery list um i'm gonna set my alarm really quick a couple other things that i will be trying it'll probably be in next week's video because i don't have them yet i didn't order them but i have two different items in my amazon cart that i think will <clears throat> have the potential to help my skin uh which is peppermint tea and uh probiotics so with both of those i'm gonna I'm gonna to do both of those. Those will both be in probably next week's video, and I'll probably just start those doing those as of next week because I didn't place the order yet. But when it gets here, I'm going to be seeing how they affect my skin. And based on the research that I've done, they can really do no harm. Um, the uh, probiotics in general just help with gut function and acne sufferers and the peppermint tea is supposed to really help people with hormonal acne and obviously mine is hormonal it's literally only on the lower third of my face uh, yeah I just get it right here and then on my chin and it's painful and annoying so I'm really hoping that those help. I don't expect those to do anything in a week. Like, it's probably going to take at least a month before I see any changes from either of those things. But I still wanted to mention that. So, yeah, basically... I don't know, dude. I can't guarantee <laughs> that I will see any improvement because my, it just seems like such a lost cause for me I know it doesn't look that bad right now it's because the lighting's kind of good with my curtains but let me just show you with like normal lighting This is old. It's not that's not a whitehead, it's a scab. And then boom. And my chest and my back are pretty much clear right now. So does look a little bit different from this angle and this lighting but this one actually turned into three pimples that kind of like I popped this one at the top and then it moved down into the right I popped that one and then it moved down into the left and I popped that one so that one like went down that's why you don't pop your fucking pimples because they just get bigger Anyways, I am so done. I'm so done with this acne. I'm 22 years old. I, it's embarrassing. Like, I know I've had it for most of my life, but I gotta say, it doesn't get easier. <clears throat> um, it doesn't get it's still frustrating at 22 years old it's still 
so incredibly annoying, frustrating, irritating to deal with because a lot of people my age don't suffer this bad with acne anymore. Um, and I know a lot of it is genetic. It's not anything that I did, you know, obviously. Nobody with acne, it's their fault. There's people running around here washing their face with St. Ives and eating McDonald's every day, drinking Pepsi for breakfast, and they have flawless skin. Like, it's just, it's not... It's not fair. <laughs> um, but that's why people with acne, like, I know it's easier said than done, but you can't blame yourself. And you can't lose hope or give up or beat yourself up over it because it's really just not your fault. You know? It's sad. I've definitely cried about it many times. Many times. Because it's like... You just want a break, dude. You just want... Some relief. Sometimes. You know? And I don't wear makeup. I've been thinking lately about starting to wear makeup, but... I don't think that I will. I just don't like the way that it feels on my face. And a lot of times, like, when I used to wear makeup, it didn't really... It covers up the redness, but it's like, it doesn't really... It can't cover up the texture. So it's like, and then it just builds on it. So it gets into, like, all of your um, texture skin, like the little scars and it just tends to make all of those little impurities more noticeable and I don't like that about about foundation it's nice for pictures like if you need to be on camera for something to cover up redness because a lot of times cameras can't pick up skin texture but just for like every day it's like I'm good plus everybody's wearing a mask right now so I don't really care about that, but it's just the painful ones that really get me. Like, they just make me so angry. They make me so angry, and that's not, it's not good. Um, what other things that I want to say? I've been thinking about going on spironolactone um and I also have another dermatologist appointment coming up in I think it's the first or second week of October so pretty soon and I have a really I have a feeling that my dermatologist is going to recommend I go on it <laughs> I don't think she's really gonna recommend anything else but I would really just rather not I really don't want to go on that because there's many reasons there's many reasons but ultimately it's like I'm gonna have to be on it literally for the rest of my life if I want clear skin and oh my god it's like it's just not fair, dude. Like, why do people with acne have to make these decisions? Like, nobody should be having to be put on this medication with a bunch of different side effects. Oh, my God. I'm not going on Accutane again. Um, I don't know if she would recommend it to me. But I would never, ever go on Accutane again. Um, I made a whole 
series about my Accutane experience um the second time I documented the whole thing if you want to go and watch it it's on this channel uh and yeah I did have clear skin for like a year after stopping it the second time but um it's just not worth it like it's just not worth it it's a band-aid you know and it, I will admit that it was nice I don't regret it that's the thing is I don't regret it it was nice having clear skin and experiencing what it's like to just not care about your skin not think about it every day you know it was nice um and it did a lot for my confidence but I just I, I I'll put it this way I would have chosen excuse me <laughs> I would have chosen to go on spironolactone or birth control or something like that in uh what do I want to say instead of going on Accutane because I feel like that would have done more for me maybe I don't know I don't even know what I'm saying anymore how do I know if it would have worked I had freaking acne on my forehead before starting Accutane after Accutane I really don't get forehead acne anymore which is I guess kind of nice but it's like I don't know forehead acne is like it's weird because not that it's bad I'm not saying that like people with forehead acne are, are it looks weird or anything I'm just saying that sometimes it can be like super stubborn but then sometimes it'll clear up in like a week depending on what you use on it and I don't know I've had weird experiences with forehead acne but anyways I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm excited to start doing these weekly check-ins because I feel like it's going to hold me more accountable to, you know, like stop drinking coffee and really stick to things. Also, I'm just going to try to eat better. I'm gonna try to eat less sugar, more vegetables. I do eat healthy, like, already as it is. But I've been getting kind of lazy. Like, I could eat healthier. And so I'm just gonna make the extra effort because it's, like, not that hard. I already eat pretty healthy. I know how to cook. I know what to make that's, like, fast and easy and that won't hopefully aggravate my skin. I don't know what's what aggravates my skin and what doesn't food wise but uh I guess we're gonna see about the coffee if it does I've done experience I've done not experience um experiments on coffee with my skin before but I don't know I just like I love coffee so much and it's like why should people with acne have to alter their life and give up the things that bring us joy just because we have this disease it's like it shouldn't need to be it didn't shouldn't have to be that way i went to a naturopath before now i'm just rambling so if you're still with me hey welcome thanks for saying i went to a naturopath before actually i've been to two of them for my acne and the first one that I went to um we ran a whole bunch of different tests one of them was a food sensitivity test and that came back like so positive for every like she told me that I was sensitive to like l literally every food group and of course they all tell you you have leaky gut and adrenal fatigue and all this shit it's like okay everybody has leaky gut all right like nobody eats perfect in America uh, but I try, I mean, at the time, I was eating 
at the time, I was a strict vegan. I was eating so freaking clean already. And then she tells me that I'm sensitive to all these food groups like wheat and gluten and corn, or not corn, because I could still have corn tortillas. Um, and it was also like weird stuff like, oh, pineapple and mushroom and almond milk. Like she told me I was sensitive to almond milk. It's like, okay, then what do you want me to eat? Like it was either, and I was, I was desperate. I was so desperate. So I did exactly what she told me to do. But it was frustrating because I didn't know what to eat. And I was like hungry. Um, and that still, it still didn't work. Like I was still breaking out even though I was having, I was literally drinking celery juice every day and just eating pretty much vegetables and fruits. Uh, so it's like, <laughs> after having that experience and then with all these videos that I watch on YouTube of people um, going, doing the same thing as me, going to a naturopath, or maybe they just do it on their own, they all say that they've cut out certain foods and shit like that to, to see, done these crazy elimination diets to see what's triggering the acne, and it's like, it shouldn't have to be that way, straight up, it's not fair, like, why should I have to choose between having acne and starving myself? Because I don't know what the fuck is triggering it. It's like I'm so. I'm so past that. I am so past that. Like. If you. Are thinking about doing that. Or going on one of those crazy diets. And depriving yourself of. A lot of different foods. Please don't. It's not. It's so. Just not worth it. Like. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Well, anyways, I think that's about it for this week. Um. Yeah, I don't really know how to end this. But I'm excited for my next check-in and... If you guys are watching this with acne out there, um, I feel you. It's frustrating, but I don't know why I said frustrating. Frustrating. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. It feels really hopeless right now, so I don't really have many words of encouragement but I don't know maybe just relating to people is some kind of like comfort in that yeah okay peace <laughs>